this is the front end of Valhalla. Before we button it all up and um, make it all disappear, we thought we'd just do a video on what's inside the front end of this thing. So what? that's the DLE 55. That's what will go in the front. The rear exhaust that we use. So when the two halves of the fuse are joined, we put this 12 mil wide ring in there as it's joined. Six bolts and that holds the whole front end in. We put two spaces here which locate this thing. This thing is the fuel tank and battery mount that shows up. Yep. It has the same six holes as the um, motor does. So with those um, spaces top and bottom this box has to be cut off so it fits inside there it sort of slides in like that and sits and locates there so that's where the motor the um, fuel tank goes and the batteries um, so this then is the motor it's totally separate comes right out we have an aluminium firewall three mil and six mil doubler so it comes out so that you can work on it on the bench? Yeah, get it all out for servicing and um, whatever. There's a 12 mil, I don't know what you call it, like a sub firewall. So there's great big long um, um, M6 threaded rods mount the motor right out here. There are the standard DLE standoffs coming off this 12 mil plate and then we have these extra standoffs which take it back to the true firewall there's steel the steel's heavier that's the only nose weight we add to this thing to get it to balance so this thing goes in very similar to the, uh, the fuel, um, tank, fuel tank. tank and then six bolts will locate it six of those will um, locate the motor there squashing that um, fuel tank mount as well and then the spinner on the front so this is a spinner back plate the back plate that's you've made uh, cut out on the mill and then cut out on the mill turn on the lathe give it some take some weight out and there's a video on how that was made a previous video if you have a look for it Prop goes on and then spinner over the top. That's how that all goes together. And then there's a, a cowl which will go in there. And what holds the cowl on? Um, screws. <laughs> 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 and there'll be a 3D printed exhaust which goes in um, there to get a, a finished look. So that's how that all goes together. That fuel tank coming back and um, just clears that uh, radio board which gives us enough room to get in there there's a leads which go to the wing there's the leads which connect up the batteries and there's the one lead going forward for the throttle and ignition okay the, so when you do the uh, the screws when you screw the cowl on you use yeah. bits of HDPE, a couple of plates here, a couple of plates there, and they screw in. Holds it all together. There are five servos, no, seven servos from here back. There's one on each elevator, one on the rudder, two on the tail wheel, one for steering, one for retracting, and there are two servos, little servos for the gear doors. There's a lot of weight back. But because of the layout of a, of a Mustang, balance points about here, um, and the motor's so far forward, just a one or two, we won't need four steel standoffs. So it'll come down to probably one or two, and the others we um, replace with aluminium when we get the wing on and check the balance. So we need tail weight to balance all this out the front. Yeah, so many people say, oh, 
all those servos down the back it's a problem but it, if not we were going to be we're adding weight the, the batteries have to end up coming right down the back here all up it's about 13 kilos flying weight which is just nice